No other revolution has made such a great impact as the Industrial Revolution ever made. The Industrial Revolution forever changed the way that the world functioned and made a lasting effect on the modern world. The Industrial Revolution was a time when new inventions and methods of producing products changed millions of lives. It began in the textile industry when a man named John Hargreaves invented the spinning jenny in 1764. This, along with the flying shuttle invented by John Kay in 1733, helped boost textile production and made weaving much more efficient and easier. The increase in better textiles boosted the economy and paved the way for the next impactful innovation, better transportation. After the textile industry sparked the revolution, transportation also began to improve dramatically. During 1763 through 1775, James Watt improved on the steam engine, which in turn improved both water transportation and land transportation. These steam engines were used on boats which could travel through waterways and canals to ship goods. Steam engines also improved coal production as they were used to flush out water from the mines. Later on, trains began using steam engines and, in 1830, the railroad age began with the opening of the Liverpool-Manchester Railroad. This gave manufacturers an inexpensive way of shipping goods and created thousands of new jobs which brought more and more people into the cities. The results of the creation of these inventions were booming industries. However, the machineries being created were heavy and expensive. So, entrepreneurs bought them and instead of traditionally placing them in households, they placed large amounts of them in factories. These factories produced new jobs and just like railroads, they brought several thousands of people into cities such as London, which soon became the largest city in Europe. Working conditions were rough because the factories were often not well lit and the machines were often very dangerous. Laborers often work long hours, and if injured, they will lose their jobs. Finding new jobs was impossible for these people. Living conditions were also deplorable due to the fact that these cities were not prepared to receive thousands of flocking workers. Trash flooded the streets and sickness spread like wildfire. The average lifespan in London was 17 years, while in the countryside it was 38 years. Soon class tensions would quickly rise and reform would follow. The Industrial Revolution also created a new middle class made up of artisans, doctors, and workers. Though there were many positive effects of the revolution, some members of the lower class, which was made up of mostly laborers, were angered and claimed that these machines were taking people's jobs away. The machines are taking our jobs! Down with the revolution! These laborers went so far as to destroy machines so that they could not be used. They went by the name of Luddites, and they were a highly secretive group. Besides the Luddites, workers also began rioting, mostly due to the poor working conditions. The conditions in the factories continued to be excruciatingly cruel. Children as young as six years old were working in the factories doing some of the most dangerous jobs. However, legislation came in England as the Factory Act of 1812 was passed, putting a limit on age of workers and the amount of hours these workers could work. Soon unions also began to take form as laborers began to unite and together they negotiated for better hours, wages, and working conditions. The rise of industrialization also brought with it new philosophies. One philosopher during this time was Adam Smith, who created the three laws of economy. Around this time, socialism also began to develop. Socialism, as stated by Charles Fourier, is an economical system in which the factors of production are owned by the people and operate for the welfare of the people. A similar philosophy was developed by Karl Marx in his Communist Manifesto which defines communism as a complete form of socialism in which all forms of production are owned by the people and private corporations will cease to exist as Marx saw them as a menace to society. Probably the most influential ideals which came from the revolution were the ideals of capitalism which were developed by Thomas Malthus and David Ricardo. In capitalism, the factors of production were privately owned and money is invested in businesses for profit, so by definition some classes are richer than others. Overall, the revolution set the foundations for the modern world.